A Norfolk jury found a Chesapeake councilwoman not guilty. Ten on your side broke the news that Amanda Newins was charged with financial exploitation more than a year ago. Today's verdict clears her of criminal charges, but this case isn't over yet. Investigative reporter Chris Horn has the update and what's next. Lena, the, uh, if you ever wondered whether a person diagnosed with severe dementia can sign a deed giving their home to someone else, we now have an answer. In this case, timing and timeline were everything. Surrounded by family, Chesapeake Councilwoman Amanda Newens was brought to tears when the jury returned a not guilty verdict, deliberating for just over an hour. She had been charged with financial exploitation of a vulnerable adult, her great uncle, Bobby Davis. My uncle was like my father, like everyone heard. He raised me. Um, he shaped me into the woman I am today. So the allegations were extremely hurtful. And finally hearing a not guilty verdict uh, was a rush of emotions. Oh, we're thrilled. I mean, we've been waiting now for seven months, and that's the exact verdict that we wanted. Bobby Davis and his wife Shirley had raised new ones. Bobby was diagnosed with severe dementia in December 2020. Two months later, new ones, a practicing attorney, had the couple sign a deed transferring ownership of their Kempsville Road home to Newins. By April of 2021, Davis was dead. The Commonwealth alleged that Newins had exploited her uncle's mental state so that she could get the home. But her attorney, Kristen Paulding, got the jury to focus on a very narrow timeline, essentially the day that Davis's signed the deed. The jurors found that Davis was not demented at that moment. Prosecutor Bill Braxton told the jury that Newens was deceptive when she testified about the deed and other legal documents. You know, that was my interpretation of the evidence, but obviously the jury felt differently. They're the finders of fact, so I'm going to rely on their judgment of it. Bobby Davis's widow Shirley was uh, she has a pending lawsuit against Newens for nearly $900,000. That's scheduled for December. Chris Horn, 10 in your side.